Hey guys, it's Jim Bounds with Co-op Motor Works and Motorhome Rehab Ranch on Patreon. And today we're going to talk about the second, the second uh, weakest part on the body. Okay? Well, the first weakest part is this. And right here. Because the body chipmunks out, pulls this out, and this breaks. Or it'll be separated or something like that. That's the weakest part. So what you do, you put a cable from here to here to pull it together, and then you come on the side and put screws in to pull in the chipmunk cheeks, if you can look down the side of that and see. All right, so that's the first one. So we're going to go to the second weakest part, all right? And to go to the second weakest part, I'm going to go pick on Lincoln over here. Come on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, this is Lincoln's uh, coach. Um, he, we've got a few things to do to it. Um, if you'll remember, I, I uh, used Lincoln's door to show you how to put the uh, trim in. But on this coach and on your coach, the weakest part of the body is right here. Is this lower door hinge, not the upper one. It's the lower one, okay? In a minute, I'm going to show you some uh, horror stories about it, but let's look at Lincoln's here. So you open the door, come about halfway out, and you lift it up. Does it move? Nope. This one doesn't move. Now, take a look right here. <clears throat> Between these two bolts, if there's a crack, there's a problem. That's where your movement is. This one, Lincoln, it's beautiful. No crack. It's awesome. Of course, the, uh, the color here could be a little better, you know. But uh, your door hinge is in good shape. The lower hinge takes all the hit, all right? So I tell you what, come over. I'm going to show you another couple of doors to show you what I'm talking about, all right? OK, guys, this, this coach is a 73. It's number 205. Mm, kind of cool to work on. Okay, let's open this door up, turn it 90 degrees, and listen, I'm going to pull it up. Hmm, it's loose. Let's take a look. <clears throat> now, this door shut pretty good. Well, there's a bolt missing. This is all, looks like it's all beat up pretty bad. So, that's where the movement is. <clears throat> this is the problem, and the problem is this is thin wall square channel aluminum. Okay, tell you what, let's go over to another one. I'm going to show this you is another 73. All right, we're going to open this up. No movement. Look at that. But this door has damage. I was telling you before, this is a square channel thin wall aluminum frame on this door. Well, this hinge is a quarter inch thick steel hinge. So if there's going to be some binding, what do you think is going to give? It's going to be this. All right, so the thing cracks and it's inside. So the real fix is to cut this open, weld it from the back side and put it all back in. Now this coach <clears throat> did have a problem. And if you find you have a problem, here's your fix. Now, if you're painting it, <clears throat> cut it open, weld it and put it all back in. The reason I say that is you're going to burn the paint if you do that with a nice paint job. So this needs to be done before a paint job. Okay, but say you can't do that. If you look right here, there's a metal plate, okay? This one's a little bigger than I would normally go, but it's a metal plate here and the two bolts. They're into the metal plate and it holds it tight. Okay, so what you've got to do, when I say metal, aluminum, of course, have an aluminum plate, <clears throat> take the bolts out one at a time, put it in. Now, I would also recommend to grind off the heads of these bolts here and here, so when it shuts in, it's not going to have any bind on it. Sometimes there are a bind there, so just cut it, just take the, take the, the caps off of them, give a little bit of extra clearance, so when it shuts, that's nice. 
So <clears throat> this has to be done before you try to straighten the door. Right? You've got to have a solid hinge here. So this is the first step. Okay. Next step, see how it doesn't latch. It's just grabbing the first latch. See that? No matter how hard you slam it, it won't go to the second latch. All right, here is your striker plate. Now the problem with this is it's in too far that when the catch comes in, it hits here, and it won't hit the second latch, okay? Because the door's been kind of bent, curved over the years. So the next thing we need to do is to get the door to catch on both locks, right? So these two bolts are nuts and bolts. So do what you've got to do to get behind there. Take those two out. Now, these two screws are into an aluminum plate, a threaded aluminum plate. If you take them both out and the plate drops down, well, there we go. Okay. So what you do is you take one screw out, rotate the striker plate, put the screw back in. Then take this screw out. Now you have the tri striker plate out. Okay. All right. When you have this out, there is no adjustments in here originally. You oblong the holes with a rat tail file so where you can move this in and out a little bit. Put it back in just a little bit further in and see how it shuts. If it grabs twice, you got it. All right. Well, I appreciate your support. And uh, if you have any questions or any ideas about any other videos or, or things, we did get a, a request um, from, a, from a guy who wants to talk about uh, the air conditioner. He's got his front clip out, and he wants to talk about, hey, everything's open, and he wants to work on his air conditioner. So uh, we may do that. I'll get into that. And there's, there's a lot of complexity. There's three different AC systems. So all right, well, look, thanks again for uh, spending your time with us. And we'll